Vocaloid. Hey everybody, Josh Bess here. In this video, I will create a vocal chop effect using a female vocal voice with Vocaloid 5. To get started, I have this new Vocaloid 5 project open. I'll create an audio track and bring in some audio to work with. And I'll draw in a Vocaloid part over here for about four bars. And I'll use the singer Amy female vocal voice, and I'll draw some notes. I'll try to keep them pretty short to help achieve that vocal chopped effect a bit more. And for the lyrics, I don't really need to write in actual words. So what I'm going to do is write in various vowels and letters. For example, these letters like U, E, O, and A now distributed across multiple notes within the editor. So I'll draw in a bunch of random letters and we'll see how this sounds. Yeah, when you're doing something like this, you really don't need to write in full words. Whenever you hear vocal chopped kind of effect, you may hear pieces of each word. So this is a way to kind of replicate that kind of sound. All right, so step one is complete. Now, this is my favorite part. I can use the attack and the release to create various type of movements for each note, giving a real nice humanized and original sound to each of these notes rather than sounding like pure robotic sounds. And a simple way to do this is simply highlight all these notes with Command A or Control A if you're using a PC. And I'll choose a decrescendo release effect. And now each of these notes will naturally fade out. Yeah, this has a really nice natural sound to it now. Although a few of these notes, I will turn the release effect all the way down so it's completely flat. And this will create a mixture between the natural and chopped up sound. All right, and now the biggest change to this will be adjusting the style. So I'll jump in over here. And I'll use a preset that's good for chopped and lead vocal sounds. And I'll choose filled with sound. You can hear this has a wider spatial kind of sound. Really nice for this chopped up effect. So we're definitely getting closer. I'll go into the customized parameters, and this is a nice little trick. Turn on the robot voice. I'll keep it on the lowest setting, although you'll really hear these notes now snapping to each individual note, creating a very digital sound between each chop. It's nice. You can hear wherever we use the decrescendo, they kind of bend up to the next note. But whenever we turn the decrescendo all the way down, so we turn the release knob all the way down, we're getting this really digital cut between each of those notes. So it's 
It's a really nice sound for doing this vocal chop effect. And to clean this up a bit more, I'll take the breath off. I'll make the character a little deeper. I'll bring the breath up a bit. I'll bring the reverb down a bit. And this is what we get. And with a bit more mixing and editing, we'll get something like this. <laughs> 